Hello, hello, person watching this video. My name is Nico Neko, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. Last time, we made our way to the Celadon City Pokemon Gym, and we challenged the gym leader, Erika, with her grass-type Pokemon. We took quite a beating, but it ended up being a victory for us. And after that, I made my way through this ominously called Rocket Game Corner where suspicious activity seems to be happening. Now, well, we're going to explore the game corner, but before we do that, I want to show you something. Here, we have the Eevee that we got last time. Cute little Eevee. And I have plans for this little guy. I'm going to give her the Water Stone that I purchased. And I kept that TM just for her. Now, let's see what happens when Eevee uses the Water Stone. Are you ready? Check it out. Ariel is evolving! And just like that, Eevee will turn into a Water type. The beautiful Vaporeon. That's the reason why I kept TM13. It's, it's to give Vaporeon a very good move, Ice Beam. Vaporeon will never learn Ice Beam on its own, but with that TM, we can give it an edge in battle that it wouldn't have otherwise. If we want to train Vaporeon and have it learn some water type moves, we at least need it to have a good move. And that good move will be Ice Beam. And there you go! A new member to the team and a new water type. Look at that HP, 100 HP. It's got some good stats too, all around very good, but its special stat is the most impressive. This Pokémon should be a lot of fun to train. So we're going to take her with us, as we make our way into the game corner. Look at all these slot machines. People look like they're having fun over here. But are they really having fun? Let's see. I'm having a wonderful time! They offer rare Pokémon that can be exchanged for your coins, but I just can't seem to win! Oh? Games are scary, it's so easy to get hooked! Sir! Hey, what? You're throwing me off! Here are some coins! Shoo! Oh, he gave us coins. I guess we'll be able to try this game at least once. What's up? Want some coins? Oh, he gave us some too. That's awfully generous. Okay. Let's keep let's keep exploring then. Hi. I think these machines have different odds. Uh, that wouldn't surprise me. Kid, do you want to play? Oh, my goodness, everyone's giving me their coins. Keep this quiet. It's rumored that this place is run by Team Rocket. Well, judging from the name, wouldn't be surprised. And there is also this very suspicious rocket grunt in the corner here. But before we talk to him, why don't we try these machines at least once? Alright, let's see what happens. Let's bet... Uh, let's go all out with three. I just want to roll it once. Nope, no luck. Should we play another time? We have 47 credits. Should we play until we're down to 40? Okay, we'll play until we're down to 40, I guess. Nope. Well, that's almost it. No luck. And our final game? Well, no luck for us. Look at those sprites. The pictures. It's Arbok, Coughing, Meowth. Not very subtle. All, all that's missing is a Team Rocket logo. Here at the counter we can exchange money for actual coins, but I'm not really eager to waste all of our preciously earned money on a gambling game, so let's just go talk to the Rocket Grunt over here. But before I do that, I'd like to switch things around. I want Nino and Nina to get some training, so we'll switch Nina with Ariel. I'm guarding this poster, go away, or else! 
Wow, this poster looks very important. The rocket wants to fight. And he's got a level 20 Eradicate. This should be fine. After all, we know Double Kick. But we have to be careful, Eradicate is fast, and if it uses Hyperfang, we could take some big damage. Still, here you go! What's his second Pokémon? It's a Zubat. Zubat, huh? Well, Ariel, it's time for your first battle. Okay. Let's let's try out Ice Beam right from the start. Ah, oh, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> Sorry. I keep thinking back to that flex tape infomercial. That's a lot of damage. Dang. Our hideout might be discovered. I better tell boss. And so he leaves. He leaves for a dead end. That's odd, isn't it, Picar? You think there's something weird going on here, huh? Yeah, that poster. Let's check it out. Hey, a switch behind the poster? Let's push it. What happens? Aha, a hidden staircase. The plot thickens. And now we're in this mysterious hideout. Oh, there's rocket grunts all over the place. Well, let's talk to them. You broke into our operation! Yeah, it, it was pretty obvious something odd was going on under that casino. Another Eradicate. Well, that's no problem for Nina. Oh, by the way, I'll show you after the battle is over, but... I went shopping in between episodes and I bought a few healing items. I noticed from that last gym battle that I was lacking in healing items. So I bought a couple of super potions and even a revive. I think I bought maybe three? Three revives? Just to be safe. Oh, Nina is up to 26. I guess it's Nino's turn now. Alright, double kick. That's not quite strong enough to do it in one hit, though. But it's... it's strong. Horn attack should finish it. Hyperfang is so nasty. But we've, we've seen that firsthand. Our buddy Rick's Hyperfang is one of our best attacks. Burnt! Alright, I'm going to heal up both Nina and Nino. And we'll keep going. Take a look. We have nine super potions, a couple of antidote and paralyzed eels, and we have four revives just in case we need them. We may get unlucky and get a critical hit to the face or something, and we don't want that happening. Alright. What's down here? Oh, there's an item. It's an escape rope. This should come in handy when we have to leave. And I see another item down there. How do we get there, though? This hallway here is full of plants, but there's no door, so we can't use that. Maybe we'll have to go around. This place is guarded. Interesting. Well, let's go. Who are you? How did you get here? I'm just a kid. Beating up a bunch of adults in their hideout. Oh, he's got Drowsy, huh? I'm not a fan because Drowsy's a psychic type and we're poison type. Still, let's give it a shot. It might not know a psychic type move just yet. Let's see here what, what we can do. No, you can't use Disable twice, Drowsy. Okay, that went well. And the other one is matchup, so we don't need to change Pokémon right now. I'll start with Leer, and then I'll move on to Horn Attack again. 
For now, that seems to be Nino's best tactic. Until it learns a new move, at least. I wonder what Nino will learn next. Okay. Level up! So they're both level 26 now. Ah, oh, beaten! So what was he guarding? Is there anything down here? Oh, a door! But it's locked. Looks like there's an elevator on the other side. Hmm. Interesting. Well, let's keep going further down. What, what's around here? Oh, another guard. Let's check out our Pokémon for a second. I'm going to switch to... Aria. Hey there! Boss said you can see ghosts with the Sylph Scope. Aha! So they do have the Sylph Scope. We're in the right place then. Oh, he's got five Pokémon. Zubat, huh? Well, this should be easy. Ice Beam should do it. So that's one down. Who's next? It's coughing. Should we stick with Ariel? I want to see how strong Ice Beam will be. I know we can't one-shot it, but we can still do some damage. Oh, a critical hit. Well, that's no reference. And now it's Grimer. Alright, let's keep experimenting. Ice Beam! Oh! Oh, it's a one-hit KO. Well, there is an eight-level difference between us, so it makes sense. Zubat again. I'm going to use all my Ice Beam if this goes on. But that's alright. That's why we have it. And next one is Raticate. Okay, Raticate might survive the Ice Beam. That's gonna give us a better idea of its strength. Oh, oh, critical hit. Never mind. That was easy for you, huh, Ariel? Still, it just goes to show how much experience Ariel will need to level up. See all those battle, all these battles, and she's still only level 25. Let's see how much she needs. One more battle should do it. But before we go downstairs, I'd like to see... What have we got here? See all these arrows? I'll show you what happens when you step on one of them. Now I can't control what I'm doing, I'm being spun around like that. So when you step on these arrows, it just sends you flying in that direction until you come to a stop on one of these tiles. But did you see? As we were spinning, we came across an item all the way back here. So we'll go around and we'll go get it. What have we got here? A nugget! Oh, we'll be able to sell that for a bunch of cash. Let's keep going. There's an item down here. Let's go grab that. Hmm. What have we got here? A Moonstone, huh? Alright, now we have all the Moonstones in the game. And this one here... TM7. Which one is that? Horn Drill. Ah. Which Pokémon can learn Horn Drill? Nino and Nina can learn it. Hmm. Interesting. Should we teach it? Maybe we should keep it. We'll see. At least we know we have it. Now what else is down here? If we take the right arrow, it will take us all the way to the right. If we take the left... Oh, it's the exact same. Huh. Let's take the right one, then. This one will make us come to a stop. Huh. Look down here. If we take that, 
down arrow will be sent upwards. If we take the up arrow, we'll be sent downwards. I wonder if there was something on the left side over there. Should we check it out? Let's see. Oh, there's an item right here. And to get that, we need to use the right side arrows. What is that? Oh, it's a super potion, always useful to have. Now, we'll need to make our way around if we want to get back to where we were. We'll use this one, it's going to send us upwards, and then we'll start over. I remember we needed to use that one. Now we want to make our way down. So it was the top one. Look at Pikachu spinning. Are you okay, buddy? Do you like that? It's like a it's like a roller coaster ride, huh? Oh yeah, he doesn't seem to mind. Let's keep going then. There's a staircase here, and there's that elevator we saw earlier. I'm going to use the staircase first. Oh, it's like a huge meeting room in here. Oh, and there's two guards. Let's start with the top one then. Intruder alert! Are they all gonna gang up on me now? What has he got? It's Grimer again, but this one is stronger. Level 20. Well, Ice Beam always does the trick. There, that's what I thought. We can't one-shot them with, with Ice Beam, but we can finish them off with Quick Attack. At least we got a level up out of it. I really want Ariel to learn a Water-type move. But I used all my water type TMs already. That's okay. She'll definitely learn something eventually, and even if she doesn't, there's something else that we'll have later on, an HM that's going to be very useful to us for teaching water type moves. So I'm not worried. Who should go next? Well, Lily's not a good match against coughing, that's for sure, so we'll keep going with Ariel. I wonder where the Sylphscope is. I can't do it! Alright, let's go around. There's an item in the corner right here. An Hyper Potion. If we're in serious trouble, we can use that. And let's surprise that guy. Why did you come here? I give them all really terrible voice voices, don't I? Well, they're rocket grunts. It's not like they're going to have the most melodious voice around. Only one ice beam left. And then Ariel has to give, his, give her turn to somebody else. Okay, time to switch. It's Radicate. Well, I'm going to switch to Lily. Let's see here. I'll start with Stun Spore, and then I'll start using Absorb. At least that will give us a speed advantage. Oh yeah! From Erika, we got a TM for Mega Drain. We have to remember to teach that to Bulbasaur next time. Also, I took a look at the TMs that they sell in the Celadon City department store, and I found out that you can buy a TM for a fighting type move called Submission, which is a fantastic move to have. It's a great fighting type move, and a lot of Pokémon can learn it, including Mikey. So, I might just teach it to a bunch of my guys. I'm thinking of buying that, 
And also, they had a TM for takedown, which is another strong move, and I'm thinking of teaching takedown to a couple of my guys who need a more physical attack. Like, for example, Bulbasaur right now only knows tackle, and I would love to replace tackle with takedown at least. And if we teach it Mega Train, even if Bulbasaur takes damage from using takedown, it can recover it from using Mega, Mega Train after that. So it should be fine. It's just ideas I'm getting as we're exploring this basement. So now we're up to 26. I think Lily could keep going. She has that under control. I'm surprised, even when they used Hyper Fang, Lily took it like a champion. But there's starting to be a big level difference between these Rocket Grunts and us. I'm noticing that the Gym Leader was extremely strong with Pokémon in around level 32, but those Rocket Grunts are a joke compared to Erika. Makes me wonder why Erika is not taking care of this Rocket problem herself. Well, maybe she doesn't know. Maybe she was too spaced out. She did look a bit spaced out when we saw her at the Pokemon Gym. So what does this elevator do? Oh, it needs a key. Well, there's one more staircase we haven't explored yet. So we'll go there. It was up here. Oh, there it is. What's on this floor? There's someone down here. What's over there? A big hallway of nothing. But there's another one of these puzzles down there. We'll start by taking care of this guard over there. But who should go? I think Nina should go. Voila, like this. We got word from upstairs that you are coming. Oh. So they're starting to be aware of my presence now. It's about time. Imagine what noise these Pokemon battles were making. So we're dealing with Matchup. Alright. What? Well, that's fine. I think I'll go with Bite. Let's see what Matchup will do. If it attacks us, it's going to be in serious trouble. Well... I say that, but if it only does minimal damage like that, then Bite won't do that much. Okay, let's not use Bite then. I'll go with Double Kick. Can we do more damage with that? Oh yeah, that's better. It's more reliable. And I think we'll finish matchup off with Scratch. Another matchup. You can keep going, Nina. You've got this. I never use Poison Sting. Maybe sometimes I should. Just, you know, just in case. I'm just not a fan. Poison Sting does minimal damage. Well, that was a good victory, but we took a lot of damage, though. Which is why we have all those healing items. That's much better. You can keep going, Nina, right? What have we got down here? It's an item! TM10. TM10? Which one is that? Double Edge. Okay. That's just like takedown. It's something I wanted to teach to Bulbasaur, but I wouldn't mind someone else knowing that. Let's see, Picar and Rick don't need it. Lily knows Cut already. But Ariel could benefit from that. So I'm going to teach her Double Edge. Mm, I'll get rid of... I'll get rid of Tail Whip. Here you go. Now we don't have to rely on Ice Beam as much. We can use Double Edge too. And when I buy that Takedown TM, I'll teach it to Bulbasaur. So what else have we got over here? A 
we've got two choices, left or right. Can we take a look like this? Oh, there's an item here. Okay, so we need to use this arrow. Let's go around. It's a rare candy, another one for my storage. Okay. Well, these arrows are not an option, so we'll just use this one and then we'll take the, the left path instead. Let's see what else we can find down here. Choices, choices. Um, oh, so many arrows we could take. Well, I know that this one here will lead us down, and that seems to be the way to go. I definitely don't want to use that one unless it takes me someplace useful. I don't think so. Nope. We'll use the right one. It's, it's this one here. So there's a guard right there. I just want to make sure everything's fine. Oh yeah, we're doing great. Nina can keep going. Hello! Stop meddling in Team Rocket's affairs! I realize I'm starting to make them sound like Butch from the show. He had such a great voice. Hey, it's Butch! Don't know if I'm doing it right. What a contrast to James. <laughs> oh my. Jesse. Radicate. Well, let's keep going. Speaking of James, I'm so happy. I, re I don't remember if I said that last time, but I got to meet Eric Stewart at a convention last summer, and it was such a blast getting to talk with him. He signed pictures of Gowrie and James for me, and he even signed my copy of the To Be A Master album. It was such a blast finally getting to meet him. He's very nice, and he... By, by that time, he was doing um, the voiceovers for the Yu-Gi-Oh! movie that came out not too long ago, the latest Yu-Gi-Oh! movie. He was back voicing Kaiba. What a great time that was. Well, here we are, level 27. And we're learning... Oh. Tail Whip. Really, Nina? We're learning Tail Whip. But I don't want to learn Tail Whip. Why, why would I... why would I learn Tail Whip? Okay. Ugh! Taken down! Okay. Well, let's switch with Nino. I just want to see. 50, 51, 43, 46. Huh. She's got a lot more special than him. But we can't compare just yet, they're not the same level. What else is down here? Oh, another staircase! Let's keep going then! Let's go further down the rocket hole. Oh, an item on the table! What have we got here? An HP up. Well, that's one of these items that permanently increases the stat of one of your Pokémon, and it's this one is for HP. So we'll use it for... I'm going to use it on Picar. Because I know Picar will stick around the whole way through. He's the only permanent member of the team after all. All the other ones we do a rotation. Oh! Another item here. This one is Razor Wind, I think. Yeah. Razor Wind. No one can learn it, but we'll teach it to Butterfree later on. It's going to be a nice replacement instead of Gust. So, here's the last rocket grunt on that floor. The elevator doesn't work! Who has the lift key? I wish I knew, actually. That's what I need, if I want to get to the bottom of this. 
So he's got two Pokemon. It's Coughing. Okay, Coughing level 21. Well, same as usual. Leer first, and Horn Attack second. Oh, Smog, huh? I hope I don't get poisoned. So far, my poison types never got poisoned. Maybe even back then, poison types couldn't get poisoned. I'm surprised. I wish I had a clear way of knowing. I should look it up in between episodes. I'll get back to you with the answer, if I remember. Speaking of if I remember, last time I said I wanted to show some drawings that I did at the end of the episode, and because it was Rock Tunnel and I had rocks on the brain, I completely forgot to do it. So, um, yeah, I'll do that sometime. Maybe not at the end of an episode, I'm not too sure. Maybe at some point I'll do a special YouTube video about my Pokemon stories and I'll show a couple of drawings, just as visual support. Oh, he dropped an item. Oh, he had the lift key. Oh no, I dropped the lift key! Oh, tricky fella. So now we can use that elevator two floors up. So let's get back there. I just want to see, is everyone doing great? I'll heal up, just to be safe. We want to be in top shape after all. So we're back to the floor where we saw that elevator, it was down there. Uh, let me remember which arrow, the top one? Oh, either one is fine, this one is just a slight detour. What do you think we'll find when we use that elevator? They mentioned the boss. So, yeah. We're going to go and meet up with that boss. What does the boss of Team Rocket look like, you think? I wonder if anyone watching this has never seen him. It could be. Maybe you stumbled on that video and it's your first time being introduced to Pokémon. If it was, I'd say I'm touched that I'm the one showing it to you, but at the same time, you should experience it on your own. Such a wonderful game to discover and experience for the first time. Sometimes I wish I could just re completely rediscover it. Are you ready, Picar? We'll take the elevator all the way. We're going to the secret basement, basement four, all the way underground. What could be hiding down here? Well, let's take a look. Not another step, brat! How dare you humiliate us at Mount Moon! It's payback time, you brat! It's Team Rocket! Huh, it's been a while since we saw them. So it's coughing. Okay. This one is a high level, but we should be fine with our usual tactic. Nino can take a few poison attacks. For a poison type like Nino, coughing is no problem. And now, let's let's just go with horn attack. It move it works perfectly, so we'll play it safe. The next one is Meowth. Nino, you can keep going. Double kick. Oh, that's a nasty bite. At least we didn't flinch. It's surprising to see Meowth actually take part in the battle like this. Oh, he lowered my defense. A lot. So fighting Ekans will be tougher now that Meowth did that. Not a bad choice of move to do. Now we have to fight Ekans. Poison type versus poison type. Well, I'll lower its defense too. Oh, it tried to lower mine again. That would have been bad. Poison Sting, that's not so rough. Huh, I'm surprised. I thought Ekans would use Bite or something. That was surprisingly easy, huh, Nino? Those Team Rocket are no problem for us. 
especially compared to a gym leader. So now he wants to learn focus energy. Well, I don't want it. Nope. Let's keep leveling up. Nino and Nina have a lot more attacks to learn, but it's later on. Such a dreadful twerp! Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again! What was that all about, Picar? These guys just show up out of nowhere. What have we got down here? There's an item on the table. Oh, iron! This is to increase a Pokémon's defense stat. And I'm going to use it on Picar. Does that medicine taste bitter, Picar? Oh, you're in a good mood! Oh, you're so happy! Well, let's not get too excited because we still have one person to meet down here. The big boss guy. I'm going to switch things around. Lily needs to see some action, too. Yeah. Alright. Lily, you're up next. It's just beyond that door. There he is. So, I must say, I am impressed you got here. Team Rocket's boss himself, Giovanni, wants to fight. And he sends out... Onyx, of all things. Well, to each his own. Alright, Onyx, let's see what you've got. A whole lot of nothing, if you ask me. Ciao, Onyx. Thanks for the HP. Who's next? It's Rhyhorn. Okay, Rhyhorn, look at that. I always thought it was a cool Pokémon, but it suffers from the same problem Onyx does. Let's call it the Onyx Syndrome. It's a rock ground type, so goodbye. And next is Persian. Ah, something different. Hi there. Okay, we need to be more careful around Persian. I'm going to start with Stun Spore because Persian is fast on its feet. And just like Meowth did before, it uses Screech to lower my defense. How strong is Cut going to be? Hmm, not a lot. We'll, ne we'll need to attack it quite a bit. We'll have to chip at its HP. Luckily for us, Stun Spore seems to be doing the trick. Did you see that? How many turns that Stun Spore won us? Well, Lily, I'd say that this battle's in the bag. And just like that, Persian is down. And we got a level up out of it. What? This cannot be! I see that you raise Pokémon with utmost care. A child like you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. I hope we meet again. And just like that, he leaves us an item. The Sylvescope! Just what we need to make our way to Lavender Town and identify these ghosts. I'm sure the people there will be thrilled that we can finally get rid of that ghost problem. Right, Pikachu? Yeah, that was a great victory, huh? Well, let's use an escape rope and make our way outside. Everyone fought so well. And just like that, we took care of that Team Rocket problem. Now Giovanni's gone, and it's time for us to make our way back to Lavender Town. Let's take a well-deserved rest at the Pokémon Center before we do that. Next time, I'll make my way back to Lavender, and we'll explore the Pokémon Tower. Thank you, Nurse Joy.
All right, are you ready for the journey, Pikachu? Yeah, it's time to go. Well, until next time, everyone, I wish you all a good night, and thanks for watching!